Hello everyone, this is Nintendo Game Company and welcome back to Super Mario World. So yeah, last time we finished up the Force of Illusion and now we are in Chocolate Island. You know, chocolate sounds good right about now actually. But um... Yeah. We are on, I believe this is Chocolate Island 3. So this level actually isn't that bad, it's just... This is pretty much a bunch of these uh, rotating platforms. But yeah, there's actually a secret up in this pipe. Yeah, a lot of coins, so you could probably get like one or two one-ups here. But you know what, I'm not gonna bother with that. It's not like I terribly need it. I'm not sure if that's really a huge shortcut, but you know, I just take it anyway. Yeah, this is another level with two exits that we pretty much have to go to the end of the level anyway. But yeah, just fly past the um, first gold ring, or I don't know why I, why I just said gold ring. I guess I've been playing too much Sonic. But yeah, past the first exit, and there we go. So yeah. Pretty sure you you have to have a both a cape and Yoshi. Well, probably you probably just need a cape, but yeah. But anyway, just cutting that out because you know why say it this being played through twice. Yes, this exit here is pretty pointless. Just watch. There's like no point to this. Look at that. Just go around in circles to the same level. But it's, like I said, last part I'm getting all the exits. But yeah. I don't know why it was taking me so long to select the level, but uh, okay. But yeah. This fortress actually isn't too bad, I mean. Yeah, I guess it's kind of like the first Super Mario Brothers with the fireballs um, flying across the screen. But yeah, I think it's just those statues or something. Wait, this is actually the second to last fortress of the game. Which is pretty awesome. I forget what the next fortress is like. I think I know what the next castle is like. Or unless I get mixed up with the fortress, but I don't know. Let's see when I get there. But yeah, this is actually the, this is another Fortress I had trouble with when I was a kid for some reason. Well, I mean, I was a kid, of course I wouldn't be as good as I am now. But, uh... Yes. Those Switch Palaces that I got could actually kind of help you there. It blocks some of the Thwomps and Thwimps. But yeah. I actually died a few times in this castle, believe it or not. But, uh, I cut all those deaths out, so... Yeah, don't want to keep leaving all my deaths in. See right there. Kind of helps you. But yeah, here we go. Resonor, just gotta fight this guy, th these guys twice. I don't see why they they just made it so the, all the fortress bosses are the same. They like not have, they like run out of ideas or something. I don't know. But yeah, that does it for that.
Okay, it's in for Chuckle Island 4, which... I don't know, all these levels up to this point are actually pretty easy, but... Uh, yeah, there's actually a secret warp pipe here. But uh, this time I didn't get it because I kind of forgot where the piece switch is. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time looking for it. But yeah, I guess where I, I almost fell there. There is a lava pit down below us, or chocolate pit, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it's Chocolate Island. It's probably a, like a hot chocolate pit. I don't know. I think here I was just checking for the piece switch, but I don't actually get it. That warp pipe isn't actually much of a shortcut, really. It's actually longer if you take that way. But I think you get a few one-ups if you go that way, too. Yeah, it just comes back up through that pipe there. Yeah, I, th I think this is like the shortest cave level in the game. It's, it sure seems like it. Yeah, I think we have like only one more of these types of levels left, which is actually really annoying. But you'll see when we get to it, we're actually very close to it. But, um, got a few levels first. And make sure you save this piece, which if you want to get this warp pipe. But yeah, I don't actually bother with getting one up, just want to get through with this. So. Yeah, I know I said this like plenty of times before, I just really want to get this over with already so I can move on to my next LP. Which is, well you're going to have to wait and see. Number six, I believe this is Wen Wendy's castle. So, oh, this is one of the castles that can be annoying. See, these are like pillars slamming down. Then that next castle or fortress is gonna be a lot worse, where it has a lot of these things in it. It's probably the hardest castle in the game, really. There's a bunch of you. Make sure you take your time here. Don't want to accidentally. If, if one smashes you, you'll lose your um, cape mushroom or whatever you have, and then it like it like like hit you again instantly, and you'll just die. So you gotta really be careful with those. I think I actually died here before. Oh yeah, I died in this part, so... Once... Just like a stupid death, I just like... Overjumped something and then... I think I fell to my death. So I had to drop on the bus in here. I don't know why, but just for some reason I just have trouble on these types of bosses. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I always go for the top one. I just feel it's easier if I just do that. Wow. 
Hey, Wendy Koopa, it's just like that, uh, the Koopa Kid in Castle Number 4, I believe. Yeah, I'm just waiting for her to come at the side. I, I just usually stay on one side. So I don't get hit by those uh, fireballs flying around the room. But yeah, that's six castles down and only one to go. Besides uh, Bowser's Castle, of course. But, uh, yeah. When you Koopa in castle number six has sung her last song, Mario must meet the challenge that is now before him. There's a sunken ship that appears to be a, a gateway to the Valley of Bowser. Hmm. Yeah, I guess this sucking ghost ship, I guess this uh, level here could be considered a ghost house, except in here you actually get to have Yoshi, which believe me, in here I have, for some reason I had a lot of trouble keeping Yoshi, keep losing him and getting him back over and over again. Yeah, what this uh, levels do is it, these uh, all these boos just randomly pop up out of nowhere. Like they they just float around like there. You just gotta really take your time here. Try not to get hit. And <laughs> see, I'm dead. I'm desperately trying to get Yoshi back, but I think he actually comes back to me so I could get him again. I don't know why I'm spending, I'm wasting time getting him back, but you know. Yeah, there's this uh level is actually really easy. As long as you don't get take your time and avoid getting hit by all those boos. So but yeah, technically I, the, the last ghost house is actually right after this in the Valley of Bowser. But um Yeah, the, the, my commentary just sucks today. I don't know why. Let's see. Now all we have to do here is just keep falling, falling, falling. Falling with the star. That we picked up. drop and I didn't actually know I could actually eat those bike ball things with Yoshi yeah that does it for that level and now is finally time for the last world of the game the Valley of Bowser Bowser's Castle is right there. We're getting very close to the end of the game. So, yeah. I will see you guys next time on Super Mario World.